Hey guys, Jordan here from That Car Life, and today I'm going to be showing you guys something special I got for the S15. It's pretty much the other day I was on Facebook Marketplace and just going through the Facebook card groups, you know, just as you do, just scrolling through, looking to see what's there. Um, and what I found was a turbo setup right here. As I was scrolling through, what I ended up finding shocked me completely. It was a custom steam pipe manifold, which I have right here. I'm not entirely sure of the brand, um, but I know it's a custom, you know, steam pipe manifold for the S15. And it also came with a Garrett GTX uh, 2867R Gen 2, and it even has a T51R mod. Um, freshly put onto it as well. Um, it even has a uh, internal wastegate, which I eventually want to change to an external wastegate. Um, but this whole entire setup right here, which is worth, I'd say over three, maybe pushing it to four grand, I got it for $2,400. So $2,400 for this entire setup, including, you know, the this turbo itself, you know, looking online, this turbo brand new on its own is 2,500. And this one legit comes with, you know, the T51R mod and the internal, um, and, and the internal gate as well. So honestly, it's just such a good deal. I just could not pass it up. So I just had to cop it. And guys, the good thing about this turbo is it's literally capable of doing up to 300 plus kilowatt. Um, with ease. So when this does go on the S15, with whatever power setup I have, this turbo will be more than capable of supporting that um, and putting out some really, really good power. So it's and it's going to sound amazing too, especially with that T51R mod um, and the external gate that I'm going to get. Um, so yeah, this turbo will basically be the best turbo I can get basically just to support me through every setup I go through with the S15. You guys could probably just hear that car of support walking in, screaming oof, and she was definitely saying oof at this turbo. I mean, in this whole turbo setup, isn't that just oof worthy? <laughs> <laughs> All right guys, so now engine parts wise, I pretty much have a full turbo setup ready to go on that is capable of 300 plus kilowatt um, easily, which is awesome. And I also have a Warbro fuel pump. I'm not entirely sure of the one, but it's A85 compatible. Um, I've got a Warbro fuel pump uh, ready to go on and I have a thousand cc uh, Jex uh, injectors as well that is also ready to go on the car. So pretty much I have, you know, turbo setup, injectors, fuel pump ready to go in. Um, the only problem is I'm trying to decide when I'm going to put all this stuff in. That's the only problem right now. So as you guys may know, I am planning on doing a full respray on the S15 and doing a whole bunch of bodywork to it um, very, very early next year, which is gonna cost quite a bit of money, um, which means I need to kind of prioritize whether I'm gonna do you know, the bodywork first or if I'm gonna put this stuff on. So I'm in a bit of a dilemma, guys. Like I could pretty much you know, put this stuff on now, you know, the injectors, fuel pump, and my turbo setup, um, and then maybe push the respray out a few more months next year. Um, or I could do the respray, you know, first thing next year. Um, and it is next year because the body shop I'm taking it to is booked out this year. Um, so it, I will be taking it first thing next year to get resprayed. But as I was saying, you know, if I do decide to do the respray first, it'll get done straight away. And the engine stuff would have to be, you know, mid to late next year. I don't know, guys. It's a tough decision because I'm just worried, you know, I technically could put this turbo set up and the injectors and fuel pump on. I'm just scared that it's gonna be like a rabbit hole and then I'm gonna end up needing a clutch if this clutch starts slipping on the dyno and you know, I might need coil packs and this and that, everything's just gonna add up. And I'm scared that, you know, putting this turbo set up on now is just gonna be a rabbit hole and a lot of money. And then it's just gonna end up pushing the respray out even longer than, um, than I predicted. So that's the, that's the kind of what I'm, what I'm trying to decide at the moment. You know, I have this awesome setup ready to go on. It's just a matter of, when if that makes sense but after the respray is finished i was planning you know mid next year to late next year going hard on the engine doing a top end build and you know putting a turbo setup and all that on it anyway so you know i did get this for a pretty good deal so what i might do is you know do the respray and then later next year put the whole turbo setup on build the top end and 
go for some really, really good power. But I don't know, guys. I'll, I'll figure it out. But let me know in the comments down below what you guys think I should do um, and how I should move forward, what you guys think might be best. Because um, I'm still 50-50. I'm trying to decide which way would be better right now. So I'll leave the video there, guys. It was a very, very quick video. Um, but I just wanted to show you guys um, the turbo setup that I got. I was just too excited. I had to, sh had to show you guys what I got. But guys, I really hope you're just as excited as I am for this new turbo setup and to see what it's going to sound like and how it's going to go in the car. Um, as I said, it might be a bit of a wait to have it on, but it is exciting that we have it. Thanks so much for watching, guys, even though it was a quick video. Stay tuned for some more awesome, regular content coming on the channel. And if you enjoyed, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, all of that for more. And I'll see you guys next time on That Color.